Hey everyone, so iTron and Microsoft have this really great deep and expanding partnership. And we're here at iTron Inspire and we were going to originally sit down with Don Reeves and Bilal Krashid to discuss that partnership and um, hear how it benefits the utility industry. Unfortunately, we couldn't get their schedules to match up. So what you're gonna see here is me sitting down with Don and then some insight from Bilal to pepper it in there because we caught up with Bilal after. We are at iTron Inspire, and I am talking with Don Reeves. Hi, Don. Hi, Jen. Nice to see you. We are talking about edge computing today. So let's start with like a quick definition of how do you define edge computing? Sure. Well, I think the industry defines edge computing as moving literally the compute and processing power to the edge. And for us, we define the edge as that meter, the electric meter, the gas meter, the water meter. Um, what we're really talking about a lot in this show is our capabilities with uh, edge compute, or we call it distributed intelligence, and that's on our Riva meter. I think I'll start by saying that there are no shortages of challenges for the utility industry. You know, there are tremendous pressures around cost management, around operational efficiencies, around reliability. There are external threats around cybersecurity. There's a need for grid optimization and revenue protection. I mean, these are just some of the business drivers and pressures that utilities are facing that are driving that immediacy to look to technology and more specifically edge compute capabilities and IoT. And with the changing dynamics of the grid, with behind a meter generation, with EVs, and of course DERs, the way we manage the grid and operate the grid will need to change with the intermittency of renewables and, and the bi-directional power flow back into the grid utilities will need to adopt edge compute capabilities in order to effectively manage a much more real-time complex power system. And given the volume of data generated from edge devices, like next generation um, AMI infrastructure from, from iTron, it will require the compute capabilities of Azure, you know, unlocking those sophisticated load forecasting capabilities with weather data, for example, um, balancing grid resources, and even improving our overall security posture will require the use of edge devices alongside the incredible real-time compute capabilities of the Azure cloud. We have the capabilities of actually doing computations way down at the edge. So how does this benefit distributed energy resources and um, demand response, things like that? Sure, well, the, the, the benefits show up in a, in a few different ways. So first off, we can get access to far more granular data. So typically utilities are operating uh, with a uh, granularity of uh, maybe in one hour or maybe 15 minutes for the residential customers. Yeah. And for the commercial customers, maybe 15 minutes or as fast as five minutes. Okay. We can now get down to one second and we can go below one second. And so what that does is gives us uh, access to information that really we never had before. Mm -hmm. And so with respect to distributed energy resources, and I'll talk specifically you know, that can involve solar, that can involve battery storage. Um, we can actually now uh, get access to granular usage information that can then inform how do we want to use those resources more effectively. And perhaps the most common way to think about this is when I am generating energy with my rooftop solar, should I be delivering that energy to be consumed immediately or should I be delivering that energy to the battery and then, then get that battery charged up such that we can be using that energy later in the day. And so when you combine the capabilities of edge compute with predictive analytics and other advanced analytics capabilities, we can then figure out how to allow the grid to operate more efficiently, uh, more cost effectively, and hopefully more resiliently. Yeah, wow, wow. So really, we're, we're really being efficient with the grid. That's right, that, <laughs> yeah. that is the goal. Yes. Well, ultimately, DER providers can't operate what they can't see. So uh, DER providers will need to have the right level of visibility into what's happening into the grid, uh, the right level of operational awareness into the distribution network to ensure that they're effectively using every single electron that's generated from DERs. And with the growing penetration of renewables and more and more doors opening into DER markets, edge compute and IoT will allow for those new revenue streams for operators. And this is an area that Microsoft is deeply engaged in. Uh, we're enabling aggregators to grow their business through new revenue streams, through markets and, and new tariffs. And the data that iTron can provide at the edge for advanced forecasting and real-time system information and, and distributed intelligence is truly eye-opening for the industry. 
Um, the move from, say, 15 minute on average in, in terms of data speed to potentially second and sub-second data sets, that's a massive shift for the industry and an essential tool that uh, will unlock distribution automation for DER operators. So what about, thinking about like the heat wave that hit California, what about demand side management? Does, this, does edge compute really help there too? It really, really can. So again, um, if you think about how these problems are solved, and I think about like when I learned to drive, mm -hmm. I don't know if you, if you recall this, but they taught us the system of identify, predict, decide, and then execute. Oh, cool. And so the, the identify part is really around measuring, right? So you can't fix what you can't measure. So with access to this more granular information, we can then understand what the energy profile is within a home. We can even infer from that information what sort of resources are behind the meter that can be controlled. And then that can all be used to go ahead and deliver a more seamless demand side management program. And that can be everything from educating the consumer on what programs are available and doing that in a very targeted way to then even using the fact that we now have Wi-Fi built into the meter and we can use that to direct, uh, sorry, to connect directly to Wi-Fi enabled uh, resources and actually control those. Yeah, yeah that, I mean, that is the future. That's so cool. Yeah. Um, how close are we to that? What do you think? Well, you know, we, we've already rolled out um, about 4 million meters. Uh, so we've got that, you know, that those sort of endpoints in the ground. Right. Uh, we've rolled out, so there's a, uh, I'll, I'll use a little industry parlance. It's called 2030.5. It's an IEEE industry standard. So we've actually rolled out that application, deliver that to multiple customers. Uh, they're going to use it initially for giving the consumer the ability on their phone to be able to see real time what their usage information is. Yep. And now we're starting to go ahead and do the work to do testing of that 2030.5 uh, uh, server to have it be able to talk to other clients within the home. Yep. Um, and so that's the next step yeah. before we then start unlocking this capability. Yeah, super cool stuff. Okay, let's switch, switch gears, talk about your partnership with, Martin, with Microsoft. Um, how, tell, you have an expanded partnership, so tell us more about what are you doing now. Yeah, so we've been partners with Microsoft for, gosh, about, I think, over five years now. And we actually have a, a pretty rich portfolio of products. Okay. Um, we started actually taking, so iTron is actually big into... Uh, forecasting, energy forecasting. Yeah. Um, and so one of the first things we did is we actually made that product available, moved that to Azure and made the forecasting available as a service. Uh, so that's been out there for quite a while now. We moved our meter data warehouse and uh, that's called IEE, iTron Enterprise Edition. That's available on Azure. Mm -hmm. We have our street lighting solution, street light vision available on Azure. We've got our, one of our core analytics products, uh, uh, Operations Optimizer, that's available on Azure. And we've actually rolled that out to, I believe it's over 8 million endpoints uh, with the Exelon utilities. So we've got this strong base of foundation. Now we've just been talking about edge compute and distributed intelligence. Well, it turns out we built our, our distributed intelligence back office platform from day one running on Azure. So that's actually how we're powering all of our current DI deployments today. Moving forward, we're going to be expanding in the distributed intelligence space and building more products that will be consuming that data and analyzing it. We'll even be, be building a gateway type of product to enable third party uh, providers who want to get access to that data to be able to allow them to, in a very highly secure and robust manner, get access to that. And then we're building new advanced uh, services and capabilities that will be available in Azure um, and, and just super excited about the, the level of partnership and support we're getting there. Yeah, yes, you have big plans. We do indeed. <laughs> Earlier this year, we announced our growing partnership with iTron. It's one of the partnerships that I'm most proud of at Microsoft. And it's one that excites me the most because of the value that we bring to the industry by showing up together. And with two industry titans with deep rooted credibility in the industry, with an aligned vision on sustainability, on cybersecurity, on privacy and transparency, this partnership will help accelerate not just the energy transition nationally, but globally as well. And I consider iTron as one of our key, one of our top partners in the energy space. And when you have a, a trusted organization who has anchored their software future in Azure, alongside others like Schneider, like ABB, like Aviva, and Bentley, and so many others, it allows us to bring together some of the industry's best and brightest minds together to solve some of the most pressing problems our generation has ever, ever faced. And with over 10 iTron solutions now available in Azure, and that number is growing, of course, 
the power and utility organizations can now take advantage of these real-time compute capabilities and scale, and of course, the advanced cybersecurity measures of Azure to operate and make the best use and full utilization of their ITRON investments. Excellent. Well, Don Reeves, thanks so much for coming out to talk to me. Great. Thank you. I appreciate the time. And, uh, you know, again, it's been, been a great show, and I'm looking forward to having more conversations with our customers. Yeah, same. Thank right. you.